All right, good evening, guys. Welcome to 360 Boot Camp for tonight's workout. We do need a chair. Um, it could be a chair, a bench. Make sure it's nice and sturdy and it's not going to run away on you. It is going to be pretty constant tonight. So make sure you also have your water bottle nice and close and you've also got a sweat towel ready to get into it. So to start with guys, make sure we've just got our mats out and it's a nice clear area to let us have the space and room to move. I'm gonna get our timer set. Get ready, 30 seconds. Getting started guys, we're gonna stand in the center of our mat and we're gonna have both hands on our hips and our heels are out nice and wide. Yes, breathe, get those watches on. We're going from side to side. So starting to feel the outer hip, nice stretch. We can deepen as you start oh, to feel. So just side, side. And what we're gonna do is add the circles. We're gonna take those hips all the way around. Four, three, two, and one. Right leg only coming across the body. We're going into our leg swings. Sticking just to the right side for now. Good, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go back into those hip circles, but back the other way. So we're gonna be leading the circle around the opposite direction. Good, three, two, and one. You know what's next, let's go left, leg swings. Good, coming across the body. That's it guys, perfect. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna take those hands and legs nice and long, reach up behind us, and then alternate back down. So we're gonna go for a nice front body opener. So we're starting to open up through the hip flexors, kicking that straight leg straight up. Perfect. Four, three, last two, and one. Jump to the end of your mat, guys. We're gonna go forwards, hold backwards. Good. Couple mat runs here, pumping our arms. Let's get that body temperature up as we go. That's it, guys. Can we bring the knees up, forwards and backwards? We recover. Knees up on the forwards, recover on the backwards. Last lap. Good, last recover. Nice, facing forwards. Big arm rolls. We're going to reach as high as we can. Two and one. Let's go back to the start, guys. Hands on hips. Big hip circles leading to the right. So we want to come with the big round hips and push out to the right. Two and one. Right leg only, leg swings. Six, five, good. Three, two, one. Hands on hips, let's lead to the left. Big hip circles, round them out. Good, roll out from the heels. Three, two, one. Left leg swings come across the body. Perfect. Let's warm up those hamstrings through the hip flexors. You've got a bit of lower to get through tonight. It's going to test your stamina. It's going to test <laughs> my ability to breathe. But that's okay. Two and one. We're gonna go into our hip extension. So a big reach up as we kick that straight leg back. Alternating, straight leg lift. See if you can reach a little higher this round. Well done. Last four, three, two. Great stretch girls, one. Now we're going straight into high knees forward, recover back. High knees forward. Recover back, awesome. Let's get those knees up, guys. About four to five to six high knees on that forward run. Doing well. Big high knees, that's it. Beautiful aims, that's it. Good job. We got two more rounds. Recover back. Last round, bring them high, bring them high. 
Nice job. Standing in the center of our mat, we go big arm rolls forward this time. Bring that shoulder shrug with your hands. Perfect. Big roll out. Nice, guys. You've got this. Our body is warm and primed. We're ready for the workout. We're going to finish hands out in front, alternating chest openers. Our eyes follow the hands that go behind. Six, five, four, three, last one each side. Perfect. We're going to take those feet out nice and wide, bending down through the hips, drive those knees out. We're going to stay low, elbows to the inside of the knees, and we're just going to hover. Let's open up through the groin. Try and sit down as low as you can. If you're struggling to keep your heels on the ground, take them out a little wider for me. They should be sitting out wider than our hips. Beautiful. And come on up, shake it out. All right, guys, grab yourselves a quick drink. And then we're going to have our chair at the ready. So bring that chair into the picture. Make sure it's nice and sturdy and it's not going to move on you. Make sure you have your booty bands ready by the side. Um, we don't need them for this set, but what we're going to do is work for 30 seconds to 15 seconds. So for the 30 seconds in this set, it's going to be on balance and strength. We're going to start single leg, sit stand. So we're going to be having our right leg elevated, driving through the left. We have 30 seconds on our sit stand. Then we have 15 seconds on our uh, sit box jumps. If you're not jumping, join me. Let's go. So we sit and stand here. Keep that right leg elevated if you can. Nice. Big strong drive through the left heel. And we're activating the quads to push our body straight up and away. Yeah, great work, guys. Gonna give you guys an alternative, but it doesn't look like you need it. It's coming up. Doing well. Strong push through that left heel. Ready, guys? We go straight in. We tap the box and then we jump and elevate away. It's a little bum tap, then a big elevation. We've got five seconds and we're gonna swap legs. Keep going. All right, round out through the right leg, elevate the left. Now, maybe you found you've got one leg that is stronger than the other. That's okay. If you need to, place the heel to the ground for balance only. Only for balance and not using any weight. Rest coming up. Well done. We've got five seconds. We go back into our box squat jumps. You ready? Let's go. 15 seconds and elevate nice and high. Just a little back tap. Tap and jump. Tap and jump. Doing well. That's it, guys. Let's go high. All right, we're back to left leg. Straight in, guys. Doing well. I said we didn't get too much rest. There's not much in it. Keep that right leg elevated. We're pressing away the floor through that left heel. Doing well, doing well. We're ready to jump in two, one. Let's go. 15, tap, jump. Let's really get the elevations up there, guys. Nice and high. Explode away. Well done. Last round, we go back to our right foot grounded and we're pushing up through the left. Awesome job, well done. It's a strong push. Remember, if you need the balance, just place that heel down. We're not allowing any weight to be transferred to the heel. Rest coming up. Doing well, five seconds. We're gonna finish strong, 15. On the jump, let's go. Tap, jump, bring it up. Really explode that body weight away from the floor. 
Big push. Drive with the chest. Well done. Great work, girl. Now you know how the rounds work. We've got another three sets, okay? Grab yourselves a drink. We've got 30 seconds. Hit that chair there. And I'll show you what our next set of exercises are. Which again, we work for 30, back it up with 15. We got four rounds. You guys are doing great. Round one is going to look like this. Come up against our chair. We check the sturdiness so we know it's not going to move. Incline push-ups. Let's go. 30 seconds on. We're going to try and get our chest as low as we can and direct those elbows back. Beautiful work. We can inhale on our way down to chair. Exhale on that push up. So in any moment you exert yourself the most, that's when we exhale and let that air out in the effort. All right, 15 seconds. We stay on the incline, shoulder taps. Stay here with me. You want to keep that belly in nice and tight. We're pushing our weight out through our palms. All right, let's flip. Bench dips, coming uh, thumbs close to our bench, and we're going to drop the hips down and push up and away. Beautiful. So we're into bench dips now. We've turned the chest away from the chair, and we can drop the hips and press away using those triceps. Let's try and direct those elbows to the back. Ready to go. Into our incline shoulder taps again in two. One, slip it, let's go, 15 seconds. Keeping that core on, beautiful job. Push the weight out through the palms. That's it guys, you guys ready to go incline push-ups? Let's burn it out, 30 seconds. Stay strong here, you only have two rounds on each exercise. Doing well. Stay strong as we push that weight away. Breath's coming up. We're ready to go back into our shoulder taps. Let's go. Good. We should be feeling a bit of a burn through the triceps, especially as we keep our core on and push the weight through our palms. We're feeling it. All right, let's turn back around, guys. We have our dips. Good. If we can, keep your bum close to the bench. If you're really feeling like a good struggle or a good challenge tonight, take those feet out in front and we can be up on the heels. Long legs equals more weight in the arms. <laughs> that is not me tonight. Whew. Keep that bum close. Ready to go back into your shoulder taps. Let's go. On the incline, 15 seconds. Doing well. Keep that belly on tight. We've got some tension through. And rest. Well done, girls. You got through that like absolute chance. Grab a drink. Wipe the sweats. Control your breathing. This is where we're gonna grab our bands. We're gonna go into some lower body work, keep the chair there, but we're gonna get those nice heavy bands out and ready. All right, I'm gonna try and level it with my medium cotton bands. Get them on guys. Exercise coming up. Ready to go in five. First exercise, monster walks. Exercise. We go forward. Back, forward, back. So we're here for 30 seconds. Then we have our 15 seconds of work with the band on. We go into our incline plank jacks. So we leave that chair there. Doing great. 10 seconds. 
stance. It's a nice wide stance, remember. So we come down and push those knees out. Okay, 15 seconds, out and in. Plank jacks. We're on the incline, guys. Pull that belly tight. Keep breathing. Awesome job. Stay strong. Let's go back in. My monster works. Then we come back to centre. Good. Think about it as like a 180 degree turn. And then we pulse those hips down. Get low, get low, get low. Let's go, Liv. You got it, girlfriend. Keep working. Well done. That's it, Ains. Let's come up. Doing great, Donna. Loving the commitment. Ready to go. Out and in. Plank jacks. Doing awesome, guys. Let's stay nice and strong through the upper and the core. Exercise. Let's go back in. Monster walls. This is your second last round. Keep it strong, guys. Don't let that bend control you. You control the bend. Knees are out. Beautiful. Yes. I love it, girls. Keep feeling that bend. Ready to go. Two, one, incline. Good. Keep your weight over your shoulders, your shoulders over your wrists. Ready to let go. Last round, two, one, finish. This last round. Good. I'm coming for you guys. Stay in it all the way. Let's keep it going. I want to see those hips get low in this last round. Great job. Alternate 180 twist. Ready to go into our final round. Two, one, incline, plank jacks. Let's go. Great work, nice little uh, glute burner here as well. Keep breathing, team. Rest is coming. Two, one, rest. Awesome round. You guys are doing amazing. Grab yourselves a drink. Okay, we don't need the chair for this one, but we do need the bands. So if you did really well with that band you just had on, I want you to leave it there. If you want an extra challenge, up your resistance. If you need a little bit of a rest, you can take some power off. So this round, we're going back to some single leg. Exercise. Bend stays on just above the kneecaps. Right leg goes back, left leg goes forward. Curtsy lunge. Push through the left heel. Good. Curtsy lunge takes that right knee, just tuck it in behind that left ankle. If you have any knee issues or hip feeling a little bit out of the line, just feel free to take that leg straight back into a normal backward lunge. But otherwise, keep that band on and push through the left heel. So, you have 15 seconds, leave the band on. High knees, bring them up, bring them up. The resistance is there to make us work. Let's make ourselves work. Bring those knees up in front. Doing well. You guys ready? Ground out through the right, curtsy on the left. All right, 30 seconds on the other side now. Ground out through our right heel this round. And we're pushing, using those glutes to get those hips in line as we finish each movement. Amazing work, guys. Keep working hard. You got this. Ready to go into high knees. Two, one. Bring them up, bring them up, bring them up. We've got that resistance on. Amazing job, guys. You're doing awesome. Yes, girls. Keep it going. We're going back into that other side. Round one, where we ground out through the left and curtsy on the right. 
Good. Matching our sides. You guys have got this. Let's finish this last round. Nice, it's strong. <laughs> Keep your shoulders back and your chest forward. Amazing job, guys. Ready to go, high knees, two, one, hit it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we get some arms out in front? Six, five, four. We're ready to go, 30 seconds. Curtsy on the left. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> losing my balance. This is our last set, guys. So we're grounding out through the right heel. Curtsy back on the left. Let's keep that energy up. Let's keep working just as hard. Good. Chest forward. A nice little curtsy, ready to high knees in two and one. Let's go. Hit it guys, knees up, knees up. Beautiful. We've got that resistance on. I wanna see those arms pumping. Five seconds to go. Little bit of work left. Well done, rest it. Rest it. Grab a drink. Fans can come off. You guys are doing incredible. We are so close. Why you guys to grab a quick drink? What have we said? We have a quick little halftime bit of core, and then we're going to go through that at the exact same pace you just did it then. Okay. So let's clear a bit of space for our core work. We take that chair out of the way. And we're just working with our mat for now. So I'm gonna set my timer. You guys are gonna come down. We're gonna hold a plank, all right? We're gonna hold a plank down on our forearms and our toes. Or if you need to, we can hold from our knees. I'm just going to demonstrate the toes and I'm going to come to my knees for the uh, pregnant women out there. So on the toes, pushing through our elbows and we're keeping our belly in tight. All right, guys, join me here and the timer starts in three, two, one. So here we go. We don't want the bum up in the air. We want that bum down. Our hips are in line with our shoulders. We're pulling our glutes tight. So we're gonna hold out here, make sure our weight is pushing down into the floor through our elbows, through our toes. You guys are gonna to continue to hold here. You got 60 seconds on the clock. For anybody who needs a little bit of extra support, we're just gonna come down to our knees, continue to push the weight out through our elbows, but also our knees instead. Awesome job, guys. Keep holding. I want your core to be shaking. Pull it in nice and tight. Pull it tight, pull it tight. Let's get that belly button into the spine. Four, three, two, one. Grab yourselves a quick breather, just a very quick rest. Then we're gonna come up into a high plank and we're going to go into a reach and then a crunch. So you can either lift and elevate really challenge your midsection and crunch or leave that foot down and we can lift and then crunch. All right, guys, you ready? We're going right hand, left leg. Three, two, one. Reach, draw it in. One, two, three. Keep reaching. Stay strong, guys, stay aligned. Last two. One more, crunch it in. Let's switch. Right hand to the ground, reach through the left, crunch with that right knee. Stay strong, girls. Up on the toes, up on the palms. Beautiful, reach, crunch. If you can, challenge yourself. Keep that foot elevated. Big reach, crunch it in. Last two. 
and one. Awesome job, guys. Shake it out. Grab yourselves a drink. We're going to start our finish around. You guys know what the drill is, except we're just going to go through each set half the amount of rounds. So with our single leg sit to stand, we're only going to do each leg, yeah? Only once. And then we're going to move straight into the push-ups and the incline shoulder taps with the dips. Only once. And we're going to move down that board. All right. I know you guys are ready for it. Starting your Tabata workout. Get ready. 30 seconds. So if we have the option here. If you want to add that band on now, get the band on now. And then it's there, ready for when we go straight into the next round, yeah? Now, if you wanted an extra heavy band, wanted the challenge, put it on. You know what we're in for, so we can always uh, divvy it up as well. Lovely. All right, guys, so that first one, we're going to ground out through the left heel, elevate the right, three, two, one, let's go. Round out through the left, elevate the right. So we're gonna push through that left heel. Nice balance. Beautiful, that's it guys, good. Standing all the way tall to drive through that left heel. Well done. Under 10 seconds and we have our box tap jumps. You guys are ready, three, two, one. Both feet on the floor, let's go. Push that floor away, let's use all of our energy to get up nice and high. Tap the bum and then push through. Let's go girls, four, three, two, one. Round out through the right and elevate that left foot. Well done. Strong push. We're gonna keep working nice and hard here. Just like you did in that first round. Keep your intensity up. Keep it going, 10 seconds. Then we're gonna go back into our box tap jumps. Ready for four, three, two, one, let's go. Show me some height, guys. Beautiful, big push away. Use all your energy to get up as high as we can. Six seconds. Go strong, go strong, go strong. We're going into incline push-ups. Three, two, one. Incline push-ups. Oh yeah, power round. Very, very little rest. Keep working. Remember that big breath out as you push up and away? Breath's coming up. Stay with it guys, stay with it. Incline, shoulder taps. Two, one, let's go. Keep those hips down. You wanna keep them tucked. We don't want the hips in the air like this. Let's shift our shoulders over our palms. Alternate. We have dips coming up. Two, one. Dips it is. Keep those hips nice and close to the bench. Elbows directing back. Exhale, push that body up and away. Oh yeah, you guys are really testing me tonight. <laughs> These are a lot harder with a 20 week baby sitting inside you, I can tell you that. Incline shoulder taps, two, one. 15 seconds guys. Pushing our weight out through the palm of our hands and you should be feeling a nice little burn through those triceps. Keep your hips tucked, rest coming. And recover here. Nice work. You guys did well. Grab yourselves a drink. Walk around slowly, relax, control your breathing. Whack any sweat off. Not long now, guys. We're like halfway through the full set. So all we've got left is our banded monster walks with the plank jacks, band stays on, and our banded curtsy lunge each side with the high knees. Whew. 
So I'm going to try and level up this round. If you can, let's get them on. Bands on. Monster walks. You guys ready? Two, one. Angle. Hips go down. Straighten. Then we can set that angle. Beautiful. If you got some space, we can use it and just keep that going. You might go for one, two, three, four. Then you might head back. If you've got the space, use it. If you're inside or a little limited, just go forward and back. Forward. Ready, high knees. Go, 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 go. Oh, <laughs> much tighter this one, isn't it, Ames? <laughs> Keep those legs going. We're ready to go. Monster waltz. Two, one. Go one. Get low. Amazing. So after this, we have one last set of 15 seconds high knees. Ow. Ouch. Absolutely feeling that. That's okay though. Who cares what the face looks like? Oh, it's the booty games later. Ready to go. High knees. Two, one. Last round. <laughs> this feels like I'm trying really hard and getting nowhere. Oh, keep going. Ready to go. Curtsy lunge. Drive through the left heel. Curtsy back with the right. Beautiful. Strong push through that left heel. Elevate. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Exhale to the top. That's it. Rest coming up. You guys are ready? Incline plank jacks. Three, two, one. Rest. In, out, in, out. See if we can keep our hips down in line with the shoulders. Well done. Keep breathing. Ready to come up. Let's round out through the right heel. Step it back on the left. Well done. That's it. Oh, look at all you ladies. You got this down to a fine art. We have one more round. Good job. Rest coming up. All right, ready to go. Incline plank jacks. Three, two, one, straight in. 15 seconds, girls. Keep those glutes firing. Awesome effort. Keep it up, keep it up. Belly is tight. Shoulders stacked. Two, one. And let's recover. Take those bands off. Fantastic job, guys. When you have to take a quick lap of the area you have. Reset. We can pop that chair away. Clear a little bit of space. Catching your breath, having a quick drink, quick sip of some water. Just a little sip because we've got another round of our core to get through yet. Okay. So just like we just did with our half time of the first set, we're going our half time of this set as well. So we're gonna start on our elbows for the plank, but it's a 30 second hold. All right, guys, let's come down. Elbows and toes. If you need extra support, it's our elbows and our knees. All right, three, two, one. We're gonna hold that plank, pushing all the way down through our elbows. An extra challenge, your toes, or extra support down to the knees. Doing great. Keep holding. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, and one. Come on up. 
We go high plank. We're gonna reach with the right hand and tuck with the left knee. Three, two, one, let's go. Reach, tuck, one, two, three. Stay stable, four, last one, five. Switch sides, reach with the left, tuck with the right. Let's go, one, two, three. Nearly there, four, last one, five. Great job, guys. <sighs> Come up, kneeling onto our knees here. Feel free to grab your drink, do whatever you need to to get ready for our cool down. We're gonna go through a few stretches. Oh, first of all, just wanna give you guys a big round of applause. Pat on the back, you guys did well. So we're gonna start kneeling down on our knees if it's comfortable. If not, feel free to be standing. We're gonna take that right hand up and behind our head, left hand in front of the right elbow. We're just gonna push down and open up the side body as we sit up tall and stretch the tricep as well. Good, deep breaths. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Calm that heart rate back down. Release, shake it out. Let's switch sides, left hand behind the head, right hand in front of the elbow, and we can just press that down. Big breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Let's open up those hands, shake it out. Interlace your fingers at the back. Roll your shoulders back. And let's take those hands up behind us. Again, you can do this one seated or standing, whatever is more comfortable for you. Keep your hands, your fingers interlaced, but just relax your arms down a little bit. We're gonna take it for a nice forward head row roll. So left ear to left shoulder, then right ear back to right shoulder. We're just working in the front phase for now. And if you don't have any neck or shoulder issues, we're gonna add that full roll. Otherwise, stay working in the front and back the other way. Awesome. We're gonna take a seat now onto our bottom, taking the right leg out in front and left ankle to the top of the right knee. Once it's placed on top, let's bend that right leg up. Roll the shoulders back, chest up nice and high. Lengthen the spine. Beautiful. Now we're just gonna wiggle the right toes out so we can straighten that right leg down. Leave that left ankle to the top of the right knee and we're gonna bend in forward fold. Again, just focusing on that breath. Big breath in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Now bringing that left ankle to the inside of our right thigh, then we're gonna reach down to the right toes. Forward fold. Left foot has come into the inside of the right thigh this time. Beautiful. When you're ready, let's take that right elbow to the inside of the right knee. And we're going to look over our left knee, get that left hand up and over, stretching out through the side body. Reaching as far as you can, taking that left hand right up and over, heading towards our right toes. Beautiful, let's come back up. And we're going to do that sequence on the other side. So lengthen out the left leg, right ankle to the top of the left knee and bend that bottom knee in. We're going to lengthen the spine, sit nice and tall, shoulders back, chest out. Beautiful. Let's wiggle the left toes out in front, lengthen that left leg and then we're going to bend forward with the knee still on top of the left leg. Big 
Big breath in on the exhale, sink down a little deeper. And then coming up, let's bring that right foot to the inside of the left thighs, reaching down to your left toes. Beautiful. When we're ready, we're going to take our left elbow to the inside of the left knee, reach up and over with that right hand. Let's take those hands back behind. We're going to tuck our knees underneath now. So we come up onto all fours. Nice neutral spine. And from here, we're going to have our shoulders stacked over the top of our wrist. We're going to tuck our toes. Big breath in on the exhale. Downward dog. Now, however you need to, we're going to take that right foot to the outside of the right hand. Whether you can step that out or you just need to drop that back knee, that's okay. Once we've got the right foot to the outside of the right hand, we're going to place both hands to the top of the right knee and press that chest away. Fantastic. Let's get into those hip flexors. I want you to think about pulling your right heel in towards your left knee. So let's really line up those hips, squeeze the glutes, pull that right heel in towards the left knee. Fantastic. Both hands are going to come back down in, inside the right heel. We're going to take a big deep breath in, exhale into downward dog. Let's see if we can flex those heels to the ground. Big breath in and as you exhale, left heel to the outside of the left hand. Again, if you can step it there, beautiful. But if we just need to place that knee down, that's fine. You can just etch, etch your foot out there. Both hands on top of the left knee, press the chest away. Again, big deep breath. Release the exhale, sinking down as we squeeze the left heel in towards that right knee. And bring both knees back under hips. Knees out nice and wide, toes in together, child pose. Let's finish here. Placing our heads straight down to the mat. Lengthening those arms straight out in front. Uh, and coming up, when you're ready, guys, honouring your body and the recovery it needs after the session. Awesome job.